The Prince and Princess of Wales uprooted their life in London in the summer of 2022, relocating to Windsor with their three children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, in favour of a quieter pace of life. While Prince William and Princess Kate haven't permanently said goodbye to their London residence within Kensington Palace, still using their apartment 1A whenever they have work commitments in the capital, their charming Windsor-based Adelaide cottage couldn't be further from their 20-room, four-storey apartment. As far as royal standards are concerned, the Wales family's life in Windsor is rather modest in comparison to their former London lifestyle. Even more so, their decision to downsize to the grade two listed cottage, considering the family didn't opt for the grander, and currently vacant, Windsor Castle, which wouldn't be out of the question in view of Prince William and Prince George one day becoming king. Amid the move, Kate and William also announced that their former live-in nanny, Maria Teresa Turion Borallo, would no longer be living with the family after residing in Kensington Palace ever since Prince George was a baby. Keep scrolling to discover everything you need to know about the Wales family's new life in Adelaide Cottage. The Wales's home is located on the Windsor Home Park Estate in Berkshire, which is where Windsor Castle is located, and the family can walk to the main castle in around 10 minutes. The property has four bedrooms, and royal fans have only had one small glimpse inside the interiors when Prince William was on a virtual call. Archival images and paintings of the property reveal the exterior, which is straight from a fairy tale. The bedroom has been described by the sun, and apparently it features golden dolphins and ceiling rope decorations recycled from a 19th century royal yacht, creating an interesting nautical-inspired theme. A historic painting of the garden reveals what a botanical haven it once was, showing that it used to have an outdoor fountain and circular flower beds. Of course, we cannot know if it has changed since, but judging by what we've seen of royal gardens, we bet it is pretty beautiful. Built in 1831 and masterminded by architect Geoffrey Wyattville, parts of the property were taken from Royal Lodge, which is currently Prince Andrew's home. The property was a place often frequented by Queen Victoria, who would take tea in the grounds, and the Royal Collection Trust website explains that her beloved pet dog Dash is even buried on the grounds. Princess Margaret's lover, Peter Townsend, previously lived in the Grace and Favour home during the 1940s with his first wife, Rosemary, so he could be on hand for the king in his role as equerry. According to the Mail Online, Adelaide Cottage was then offered to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle by the late Queen Elizabeth II, who later opted for Frogmore Cottage. There are several reasons behind the Wales's relocation to the countryside. At first, it was believed it was to be closer to Queen Elizabeth II, who sadly passed away the same month the family moved. Another reason is to get out of the goldfish bowl of London, giving their children more privacy and another driving factor could also be the close proximity to Kate's mother, brother and sister now.